You're listening to Where We Buy, the show about the things we buy and the places we buy them. When I first heard about Area 15, I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. I'd read some news reports that developers were building a 120,000 square foot retail entertainment venue not far from the Las Vegas Strip. It's not all that unusual, right? But the more I learned about Area 15, the less usual it all seemed. From the renderings that I could find, the aesthetic, the look, and the feel of the place, it was going to be like Blade Runner crossed with Burning Man and Mad Max. And then the anchor. The project will be anchored by a 40,000 square foot immersive art installation created by Meow Wolf. As commodity retail shifts online or to discount department stores, shopping centers have to offer something special to survive. They're devoting more space to unique food and entertainment, in other words, unique experiences. But we'd never come across an experience quite like Area 15. So was Area 15 a shopping center or some kind of artist colony? And what was Meow Wolf going to put into 40,000 square feet? That's when I decided that we should go to the Vegas desert to find out more for ourselves. So in 2005, roughly, the family acquired a single piece of land and ultimately ended up with over about 100 acres of land. And it's a mile of frontage along I-15 between Sahara and Desert Inn. That's Winston Fisher. He's a partner at Fisher Brothers, a family business headquartered in New York. We knew this had to appeal to locals. We knew that this had to have a sort of entertainment component to it. It had to be destination, something new and dynamic. And I'm a comic geek. Michael's a burner. You know, something that um, played to our imagination was fun, but small enough you could do it and big enough you could exit and that it was impactful. It, it took a while. And ultimately, you know, I like to say that's where... You know, this was the prequel to the universe. There was a spark, then the Big Bang happened. Michael gave the spark a boom. The, this Area 15 was born. The Michael that Winston met is Michael Benville of Benville Studios. How do you make something that uh, that is a destination when the logical destination for so many people is so magnetic that it's almost impossible to think that anybody would leave? Uh, and we'll never call Area 15 a mall. It's 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 not a mall. But at the heart of it, uh, to suggest that a place where people can come together and, 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 and shop in an immersive way and also just experience uh, is, uh, is, is where, where we're headed with all of this. You're going to pull up. We have free parking. And it starts with theming from the outside. We've got Mech 9. He's our, he's our robot who's, you know, we're debating, has he been killed or is he, is he just asleep? But you have Mech 9. You have a burnt out fuselage, so there's a sense that you've arrived someplace that's a little bit different. The idea as you approach from the distance, if it's at night, you'll see the incendia domes, which are shooting fire high into the sky. And then there's this bunker-like building that uh, says Area 15 on the side of it, and this huge sort of A arch, uh, like the front of a bunker that you pass through. And when you pass through that portal, you are passing through light and sound, and you missed and as your eyes adjust from the Vegas light and you have passed into this bunker, something happened here. And then it should feel as if the inmates have taken over the asylum. Because as your eyes adjust, as you come inside, you will see these magnificent art cars, these cars that are just the, the highest level. Henry Chang built these extraordinary vacuum tube sealed. I mean, they're just unbelievable. The lights will be, will be pulsing. Uh, you'll see in the distance a, a, a 36 foot high volcano um, built all of bamboo from uh, Laura Hardy, uh, who's a, a master crafts, craftsman in, uh, in Bali who builds extraordinary bamboo structures. That'll be in the, in the distance. Beyond that is a 16 foot high projection map skull from 360 degrees. Just best in class, groundbreaking art and groundbreaking tenants and groundbreaking amazing stuff is, is coming to, to live and coexist with the notion that if you came for Meow Wolf, our anchor tenant, uh, you're going to love that, uh, that, that immersive uh, world that you travel through. Um, and then there, there you pay to go into that world. They're a tenant. Um, but you've entered that world through our portal. So Meow Wolf is oftentimes um, described as difficult to describe <laughs> by people who come and visit us. But I would say, um, to sum it up, 
Meow Wolf creates immersive, fantastical experiences. That's Vince Kadlubeck, CEO and co-founder of Meow Wolf. And it's unlike any other consumer experience that you know that is offered right now. Um, and and the key difference is that you know we we try to pack in an experience that is dense and so immersive that it doesn't need anything else on top of it. It basically is a fully immersive experience that allows audiences to explore completely on their own and with their own free will. Our project that we're doing with the Fisher Brothers at Area 15 in Las Vegas, which is the size and scope of a premium exhibition, but it's being designed for replicability. You know, if it's if it's successful in Las Vegas, which we think it will be, then when Area 15 scales to other markets, we will most likely scale with them. And this project is being designed to be scalable. And the fact that Area 15 is not on the strip is actually a huge you know, bonus for us, we think, because we think that our base uh, audience is going to be local Las Vegas residents and families who want to come and experience this. We are curating all of this content into one place. You're going to want the things that you see in front of you. Uh, you might want to jump into a deep VR dive. You might want to go into a, a costume store that has great, crazy cosplay stuff. You might see that there is a, uh, you know, artisans' workshops or welding. We have a wedding chapel. Winston mentioned tattoo artists. There's a place to augment your clothing. There's performances happening. There's immersive theater and panels and performances, body art, themed retail, and mutant vehicles and escape the room type thing. So the, the adventure goes on and on and on. So the fact that Meow Wolf is a number one attraction, it means there's a real desire out there to encounter the mysterious and the wondrous. Area 15 is making a real bet on that well of untapped desire. They're looking for others to join them, as a matter of fact. They're leasing space right now. Both Meow Wolf and Area 15 have national expansion plans they expect to be fueled by our collective desires, our collective needs to encounter immersive, fantastical experiences.